Hey, it's me. As you can tell, I'm not really a rabbit. I'm a dude. And we're not streaming video games today. We're going to do some art. Because I'm actually an artist as well as a person that plays video games and um, role-playing games. So, if you can see behind me, this is my little art studio. Um, got all my little stuff and shit like that. It's actually somewhat clean now. Um, but as AB would say, I don't want to over talk it. Let me just turn that music off maybe and see what that does. We'll see. Okay, so um, I want to give a shout out to RB Plays. Uh, I sent him some questions today and uh, he helped me out. RB does Minecraft on Twitch as well as YouTube and you can watch him play his Minecraft and uh, oh and he also likes to work his wood so you can see him work wood at Weekend Woodshop. Um, okay so what we're going to work on today um, All right, that is a piece that I have did around, well, no, it wasn't around, it was Inktober uh, 2015. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, why ink it? It's already inked. Well, I'm going to ink it digitally this time. Um, it's in its original inked form there. Uh, we can have a close-up of that so this is the main character and I, I guess my namesake from sweet dreams uh, my my first comic sorry I was looking at chat my first comic webcomic sweet dreams are made of worms the rabbit's name is ego and well we'll get into a little of that later um, but here we go. I am, you might have saw that I was working with, I have a glove on my hand. That's because I'm working with an iPad to do this digital inking. And I don't like to smear, like, hand juice all over the screen. So here we go. Let's try it. This is the first time with OBS, folks, so here we go. Ah, there it is. All right, I am using Clip Studio. All right, it used to be called Manga Studio, and it's kind of like Photoshop, but made specifically for creating comics. Um, I have my original on the bottom layer. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and I have the opacity turned down. So I'm going to ink over it. <clears throat> All right. What I like to do is... I'm going to change the name of this layer from ink to... ink figures I like to do my backgrounds separately all right here we go and you have to excuse me uh, I have hey jackal crossing I've got my chat on another monitor to my this hand left so Forgive me if I don't immediately respond. So here we go. All right. I'm going to start on the head here. Again, this is Ego. Main character of my webcomic, Sweet Dreams Are Made of Worms. Ego, as you can tell, has problems.
for number one, he's a rabbit, anthropomorphic rabbit, in a human world. Oops. And he doesn't know who he is, why he is, anything. He has amnesia. And whoop, whoop. I actually do his head shape a little different these days. But the reason why the comic is called Sweet Dreams are made of worms is because Ego's main problem is every time he goes to sleep or is incapacitated or unconscious, he goes inside his own head or to another realm called Psyche, which is um, filled with the undead. As you can see, there's zombies here. So yes, there are zombies in this comic, but only when Ego is asleep or unconscious. <clears throat> There's also superheroes in this comic. Because while Ego is not a superhero, he often finds himself drawn between the superhero and villain world. Get mixed up in it. Oopsie. I will come back and redo that little touch of hair. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, right. I love black and white comics and black and white art. Um, actually, if you get a chance to go check out Sweet Dreams, Sweet Dreams of Made of Worms, I, uh, the first few pages are actually black and white. Well, actually, the beginning of the whole first story is black and white. Hmm. I'm starting to hear that hiss. In my headphones. Whoops. Some of my uh, favorite comics when I first got into comics were black and white. Um, first comic I ever started, I guess, seriously collecting was a comic called Boris the Bear. Um, it was black and white. It was uh, the second comic from Dark Horse Comics, actually. Um, it and Concrete. When they first started off. You know what? I'm going to come back and fill that in. All right, I'm probably going to do that hand and the guitar on a separate layer. So, I guess right now, let's just get the outline going. Oh, I'm making those noises, sorry. Oh, so the hiss is gone? Cool, cool, cool. I'm currently working on one of the comics that I sort of abandoned. It was Apocalypse Pizza. And uh, the plan is to get back to that once I have enough pages done to where I don't fall behind. So I want to have a buffer of at least six, at six minimum, so I can update twice a month. Actually, I want to update twice a week. Without falling behind. So if I get enough pages. Then. I can just work on. On the downtime. Like in between. I can work on one or two pages at a time. And get uh, where I don't fall behind. Alright. Alright. 
Sorry. Yes, and so Ego plays guitar. You don't actually get to see him play guitar in the comic, but he does carry one around in the beginning of the comic. So what what is Sweet Dreams of Mayor Worms, you may ask. I heard someone out there asking. I did. Um, well, I like to describe it as a dream pretending to be reality, pretending to be a dream that is home in bed with the flu, having fever hallucinations. And if I ever get to finish that story, whoops, this program has a ruler, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to it, sorry. Let's see other characters in the comic. Um, it's one of the fan favorites is Spider Monkey. SM12 is his name. He is a, a genetic, well, he's an artificially created superhero created by a company called Nova Labs. He is made from the DNA of a banana spider mixed with human growth hormone from a Superhero. Now, the superheroes in Sweet Dreams Are Made of Worms are called Meta Deviants. <clears throat> and on top of that, let me cough. On top of that, Spider Monkey um, has like cybernetic enhancements as well. And what? He's not a he's not a rip on Spider Man, you say. Uh, is it? Sweet Dreams is also a uh, parody of comics as well, so you'll find some things, you know, maybe ripped on. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh. You know, and another thing I like about old, the old black and white indie comics, besides the ink, I mean, I could just, oh, I could just fall into this ink. And as if you check out, like, the first page of my comic, uh, Apocalypse Pizza, not the cover. By the way, don't judge me on that cover. Um, the first page is just full of ink. And I would say there is an ink to page. Uh, the page is probably a conservative 80% ink. <clears throat> Lots of little cross hatchings, things like that. All right. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy here, moving all this around. I'm trying to see where I want to start next. I do this sort of in stages. Like I said, I'm going to do that hand on another layer. And by the way, if anyone out there uses Clip Studio, aka Manga Studio, whatever, uh, you'll notice I might not be using it to its full potential. So, if you happen to have any tips, let me know. Alright, that might be as far as I want to go on the main character right now. So, you know what? Let me make another layer for these zombies. All right. 
Uh oh, we got some chat going on. Excuse me while I turn my head. Yeah, Spider. Yeah, hey, no other answer. Thank you for joining us. Um, I mean, I guess he's a rip on Spider Man or a parody on Spider Man in that. Well, he's a spider, but he's he's a spider monkey. So, I guess I didn't mention that. Yes, he's he's got DNA of a banana spider, a spider monkey, and the meta deviant. So. He spins webs from his tail. All right, on to the zombies. This is actually going much faster than I uh, anticipated. So, I like drawing and doing art. So I'm thinking about I'm going to start doing this more often. Um, I think most of the people on the stream right now know that uh, I'm creating a role-playing game, tabletop role-playing game called Weird, which is kind of horror-based. And, uh, whoops. I'm doing the art for it as well. So, I mean, in order to build awareness and support for the game, I could uh, stream doing my art sessions for doing art for it I've got quite a few pieces for it done already oh I might have to reduce the size of the pen let's see let's go with a 15 too much better but oh dead crooked fingers there with some nasty fingernails so yeah you also might be thinking to yourself dude your your inks are kind of sloppy well you would be right but I do it on purpose because I love that inky feel. All right. I did have some music going earlier, but I think it was causing a disruption. I think it was causing like a sss or whatever hiss. It was that royalty free music anyway. Um, not that I'm dissing on royalty free music, but get a little bit of video game music mixed in with some, I don't know, Enya kind of stuff. So I guess it could have been better than listening to me talk. All right. Yes, I, I'm surprised this is that. Ooh, let me increase the size of that brush again. Uh, let's go with a 20. And of course, the actual size of this is uh, 10 inches by 10 inches. So those lines may look heavy. But they are not. I like to come in with the fill tool and do that. Those dark black areas. And since it is going to be colored, I don't think we'll get to color in tonight. But since it is going to be colored, I'm going to have to go in and add some more details. Because, you know, it's different when it's black and white and when it's in color. Like if I just added a big blob of color, you know, and no details, it would just be a big blob of color. And especially I'm working on these old rotten intestines right now. 
So, ooh, that brush might be a little big. Let's, uh, let's try 12. Whoosh, much better. Oh, come to think of it, that <laughs> that's kind of nasty looking intestines. They're just supposed to be a whole whole pile of just wet, sloppy, rotten guts inside this thing. I like drawing guts. All right. It'll really come to when I start to color it. Because I'll, I'll, I'll make it all wet and juicy looking. And look, see that? If you can tell, it's the zombie is sitting in some, uh, um, some, what do you call that? Stew. Rancid stew. Its own juices. Hmm. So if you see a random line just occasionally pop up, uh, that's because it is touch green and occasionally it registers my finger instead of the pencil, but that's all right. Oh yeah, colonoscopy, real easy for these guys I mean I, I guess the doctor would only uh, have to run the device if that doctor was a, a sadist but then again what kind of doctor would be doing a colonoscopy on a corpse hmm I'm really thinking I should lower Let's, let's take a look. Whoopsie. Whoops. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. No, that's looking all right. How's that looking to you uh, folks out there in TV land? <laughs> I realize that jerking the screen around like that might be a little... Uh, Whatever that word is. You know that word when people do stuff. Anyway, whatever. Okay. Definitely want to drop it for these teeth. Ooh, zombie teeth are some of my favorite things to draw. I love drawing zombie teeth. Let's see. Get them all nice and cracked and elongated. Put a little chip in there. Put a happy little rotten tooth in there. You know. Happy little, happy little zombie teeth. That's how my uncle would say teeth. He would say teeth. Get in there and brush them teeth, boy. All right. Of course, these zombie teeth are small, so I'm not going to be able to get the kind of detail I want. Yes, disconcerting. Disconcerting. I do have a picture that I did a long time ago that I might scan and do. It's a ego is like actually inside the jaws of a zombie and he's holding the zombie's mouth open from crushing him and uh those teeth are big enough where i can get some get some junk on them man get some cracks and little gooeys and all kind of you know you know you know what i'm saying you know you know how you you know how you like your zombie teeth unless of course we were watching Return to the Living Dead. <sighs> you know what they worked at the Unita Medical uh, Supply Company, and all the cadavers had perfect teeth.
One of my favorite movies, by the way. I had it, but I lost it. I don't I don't know. We took a bunch of movies and traded them in at Second Charles one year. And I think that one accidentally made it into the trade. That sucked. Alright, is all that uh, jerky screen uh, disconcerting to you folks? I can try to do it less. Alright. I can't wait to get to the color. You know, since I am on my iPad, I could... Good. Before I go, I, I could actually show you some of the artwork I've been working on for Weird. Also, I, I like these little, uh, putting these little lines and stuff and little dots. All right. Here we go. Actually, can't wait to start this comic back up. But right now, my uh, my primary focus is on getting weird done. And the only reason why I'm really working on Apocalypse Pizza is because, uh, well, I have a role-playing game that goes along with it as well. And I figure it'll save me time from having to do art for Apocalypse Pizza if I just work on the comic. I can use the art from the comic for the game book. But that's going to be a blast. Can't wait to do that one for you guys. Many, many years after a nuclear war, humanity has gathered itself back together. Kind of like uh, it's gotten to this sort of almost, uh, well not almost, it's sort of like the, the Roman city-states in one of these... Uh, one of these places is called the... Uh, Ikeria and Ikeria um, became an empire, has an emperor and all kind of good stuff like that. And let's get some meat, some meat hanging on. I gotta remember that this is small, so I don't need to put a bunch of detail into this, or it's just gonna turn muddy anyway. But so the emperor was having problems maintaining control. There was nothing that he could do about it. Uh, till one day some archaeologists came across some old historical documents. And uh, there was a report in there that talked about how delivering pizza was one of the most dangerous occupations in America. Now, because they didn't speak modern English, they messed that all up. And to their understanding, it was delivering pizza is an occupation of great warriors. So, Without even knowing exactly what a pizza is, this one company started to create pizzas. And they're like this uh, delicacy. And only those uber rich can afford them. Um, and they started hiring mercenaries to deliver these pizzas. Now these pizzas are like uh, freeze dried so they last the journey. 
Because sometimes it could take months to get a pizza where it needs to go because it is the apocalypse. Well, these pizza, these pizza mercs got so popular that the emperor had a television show created to follow these mercs as they deliver it. And of course, this is his idea of bread and circuses to keep the, the masses enthralled. So not only are they delivering pizza, they are being filmed and it's being broadcast to every house in Icaria. So the mercenaries have taken on like these pro wrestling person the personas almost as as well. So And so that's what the comic is about. I mean there's some uh there's some themes in there, you know, if you uh if you read it and you follow. Well, if you start reading it and follow, because right now there's not enough of it online. But I'm sure. Otherwise, there's a there's a narrative there, and so uh, in the in the role playing game, of course, you will take on the role of these mercs as you try to build your reputation and get sponsors and get rich. And at the end of every season, you play in the playoffs. And that one is an organized game. Uh oh, let's pop this up. That's an organized game where sort of set up like the Olympics. And uh, well, you know what? I won't over talk it. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. Well, how about this? Anybody watched anything cool out there? Uh, we watched that Boba Fett. Um, I'm cool with Boba Fett. I, I gotta tell you that fight scene on the first episode. Um, hmm. That one was a little suspect, if you ask me. Uh, the choreography on that was... It was like I was watching some Britney Spears video. Of, uh, you know, Britney dancing about trying to get out from under all these... Being surrounded by people with shields. But, you know, Boba Fett has got something that Brittany don't. Well, Boba Fett's got a jetpack. So the whole time I'm watching Boba Fett struggle to, you know, he's surrounded. Oh, I should say spoiler alert. Uh, I guess it's too late, but uh, spoiler alert. Uh, he's surrounded by these people, like in a circle, right? And they got these shields and he can't he can't get out. And the whole time I'm screaming at the, at the screen, "Dude, you got a fucking backpack jetpack, dude. Jetpack, jetpack. Come on, come on, jet." And he never used it. He never used it. Oh well. I'm just saying. I had a jetpack and I was surrounded by a bunch of space ninjas. <laughs> Out of there. Shoo. Oh, RB. Yeah. Lost in space. Uh, I, I watched the rest of that season. Let me see. Can I talk about it? Did you see it all? Hang on. Oh, I, I tell you what, uh, Will of Time, that one, uh, that one didn't grab me, honestly. Lock and Key, that was actually a comic before it was a show. And, uh, I didn't really read the comic, so I, I, I can't tell you how fateful or true to the source material, but I enjoyed it. All right. I need to come back with a smaller brush. 
and hit those hands. So let's get this out of the way. Whoop! Get that little dot. So yeah, lock and key was cool. Um, they did a crossover with uh, Sandman. If you're familiar with Neil Gaiman's uh, comic Sandman, I'm not sure if they're going to bringing that into the show or not. Um, I enjoyed Lost in Space. That was a fun one. All right. These hands get a little trickier when you're doing it for color. So they might. Let me come back and get those hands with a smaller brush. Yeah, you know, we, we got a. Uh, we don't have the actual first printing. Of lock and key number one but we do have a reprint of lock and key number one and i would tell you i honestly <laughs> i didn't even crack the cover not that i had something against it oh look we're on we're on uh cloth rotten cloth pants now let's uh let's jack these pants all up Ooh, all right. I don't, I don't know what time we started. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, so the session has been 44 minutes. All right. I don't know how long I should do an art session. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, an hour or what do y'all think? An hour or just do it until it's done i don't know yeah yeah rb that is a it's a good show it's a good show um i you know i i, I can't say that i had any problems with it uh my wife might remember if i yelled at the screen but i didn't yell at the screen I'm also going to post this on my YouTube channel, the video. Um, yes, I, I do have a YouTube channel. I, uh, I, uh, God, it's been so long, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's just my name. Uh, no, it might be Charisma Kills. I'm not sure. You can go to my website, uh, charismakills.com, and you go into the media. There's a link there. Um, I think that will bring you to the YouTube channel. I should have looked into that. Should have looked into that. All right. All right. I'm going to get some details on this one. little patch of moldy hair there sticking up oh yeah i had flies flies are in here too so let's, let's draw some happy little flies and of course they've got to have the little little buzzy things come on damn it happy happy little kerrigan flies all right Whoop, 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 whoop. But uh, also, I guess I should say, as far as art goes, uh, I'm a cartoonist. So, um, if you're waiting for me to do some uh, photo realistic stuff, I apologize. That's not going to happen. I mean, I can do that kind of stuff. But I've really got to be in the mood for it. And 
probably need to be getting paid as well. I just love cartoons. Love cartooning. Love cartoons. All right. I did a picture of, let's see, we played this game with the United Adventure Company. We played this game called Jinkies. RV, you played. You were there. Well, Diamond, you played. Well, I guess everybody listening played. Um, it's a fun little game. I have a character that I named uh, Roxy Rarebit. And I drew a picture of Roxy, so I, I guess I can... Maybe do that one day. All right, so this one, the teeth are just all nasty, mangled up. And they got juice, too. Let me drop down to a pen that's suitable for drawing juice. Just gooey juice. Gooey, gooey, sticky biscuit. Whoa, that's too small. Too small, too small. Viscous, gooey juice. All oh, right. That'll make more sense when I get color in it. All right. Hey, uh, now that you are, everyone's here, I'm going to do me a favor. I'm going to turn this music on, and you guys tell me if you hear if that hissing noise comes back. Y'all hear a hissing noise? And uh, is it too loud? Is it like overpower my voice? Stuff like that. All right, so it's it's not it's not hissing. Earlier there was a hissing sound. It's gone. I, I don't know what happened. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to like get a subscription. Is oh and RB RB plays folks. RB turned me on to this uh, uh, pretzel rocks. This royalty free music. Uh, I need to get a subscription so I can. Turn it on the uh, on the on the metal guitar, you know. Since we're drawing an anthropomorphic rabbit playing on an electric guitar in a dark alley, being surrounded by zombies. Boop boop boop. Yeah, let me come back and do those hands. Uh, I'm gonna finish. Finish doing these eyeballs. Get all this goo in here. You know what I thought about doing? I thought about redoing all the old pages of Sweet Dreams Are Made of Worms. And uh, making them into color. I guess some, that's something I could do as well. And also, just so you know, my art is for sale. If you see something you like, um, something like this, I mean, uh, when I get it finished, if you're interested in owning it, well, obviously it's digital, so um, I sell prints at a reasonable price. Yeah, I need to look into it. I, I had hell getting uh, getting the music to actually play, and then I realized what went wrong. And so once I figured out what was wrong, that was 
fixed. Also, want to do some art for the United Venture Company. Uh, I wonder, I, since you're here, RB, I wanted to, I was going to ask you what Veil vale looks like because I was going to draw a picture of Veil. Vale. Of course, it would be cartoony Veil, vale, you know, but. I need to uh, find out what Brata looks like. And I have an idea for a Mublex. All right, let's make sure. I'm gonna make sure I wanna put all these lines in here. Ooh. All right, I will, I will spend so much time on one spot, putting so much into it, and then and then I realize, but wait a minute, that spot, once it's printed, is going to be like a quarter of an inch. So everything you just did will not be visible. So. All right, let's get back to Ego here. Let's do his, uh, by the way, this uh, key around his neck, this necklace. This is part... Oh, I guess I can tell you Ego's origin story. Um, he was found floating in the channel by some fishermen. He was all beat up to hell, bleeding, his clothes were ripped up. And he was brought to the hospital. Well, you know, it was, it was strange to find... An anthropomorphic rabbit floating in the channel. But it is the world of sweet dreams are made of worms. So in that world, there are superheroes and things like that. So it's not totally out of the question. So he was brought to the hospital. And uh, of course, that's covered in the comic, actually. But uh, he woke up and went crazy because he had no idea where he was, who he was, why he was in pain. And I'll tell you, if you've ever looked at the comic, which is free to read, uh, there's one page, I don't remember the page, but there's this one page where, where he opens his eyes and he's in the hospital. Wow. It was one of my favorite pages. Um, it was emotion. Emotion went into that page. Every time I look at that page, I feel it. Um, and also, uh, he rips the ventilator out. It's, I love that story. Uh, I don't know if I should put all these dark ink spots in there or fill that in with color i'm gonna go ahead and put it you know what let's let's do it okay i'm gonna turn the original art layer off so it's gonna probably look wonky so whoop yeah whoop. i'm not gonna fill it in just yet a snow leopard a snow leopard They all looks like a snow leopard. A tabaxi. That's a cat person for those that don't know. Crap. I really don't know how long I should stream because... Uh, honestly... I could sit here for hours doing this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
See, I, I gotta remember I'm gonna color this, so I gotta, I gotta ease up on all the cross hashing in the dark. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna do those hands and the interior of the guitar on a different layer. So I guess we should do zombie feet, little twisty toe. Uh oh, let's boost the size of this brush. All right. All right. Oh, let's fix this one. Little. That's another thing I like to do in my comics. I like to break the frames, like so, my artwork comes out. A lot of times, it comes out of the panels. Put some juice. He's got some juice. All right. <laughs> the right pinky claw is always bloody. That veil. That silly veil. Oh, man. Listen to that jam. Uh, All right, so Ego has some very, uh, what's the word, unique boots. And actually, if you ever see pictures of Abigail McAllister, which is uh, a character in the Weird Game, you'll notice that her boots look a lot like Ego's. All right. Oh, you know, I like to put all kind of little, little bangs up and scratches and dots. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's get this other thing. You know, when I was in, uh, when I was going to SLU, doing fine art with a, was it the major in, uh, ah, new media and animation. Um, one of my teachers was like, when you're doing a piece, never focus on just one place, skip around. Do a little here, do a little there, do a little here. But, you know, he wasn't the only person that said that. But if they only knew what they were doing to me, because my ADD mind already skips all over the page. All right. Yes, those boots are made for stomping. Curb stomping. Oh, and you may notice the shirt. Did that sound? But well, that was that was, was uh, kind of country. You may notice the shirt it says Cog on it. Cog is a local New Orleans band. Um, they're mad scientists. I did a webcomic for them at one point. I guess I technically still could. Uh, I know they probably appreciate it. Unless they have someone doing it already. Uh. Alright. Let's look at these guts. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Uh, 
Alright. Once again, if you've happened to tune in uh, late, <laughs> I'm not streaming video games today. I'm streaming some all white. Um, it could be a video game, I suppose, if you put your mind to it. Oh, oh, you know, I'm playing this video game. I have to uh, do stuff. Never mind. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just finish this. Uh, this up. I need something. I need a smaller. Too small. Too small. Cause that is not going to show up when I enlarge it. All right. All right, so for the chain, I rarely draw individual links because I still want to have some mind left. Ooh, you know what? I jacked that all up. I was on the wrong layer. Whoopsie. It's okay. Those two layers just became one layer. All right. Because drawing individual chain links can be rough. You know, that that uh, hissing noise might have just been on the intro scene. So maybe I got something going on in that intro scene that is hissing. Alright, let's finish these. Uh, let's at least finish Le Ego off for the, before we cut out. I don't want to... I don't want to make a super long video... Because I, 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 I will edit before I put it on YouTube. Because that's just the way I am. And I still won't be happy with it. Alright. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to catch that guitar on another layer. Let's check out these zombies. Alright, what time is it? Alright. Yeah, I guess better call it because we're an hour and seven minutes in. Let's save this. And before we go, I'll show you some of the artwork that I've been doing for Weird. Let's name this. Um, let's call it Zombie Rock. Zombie Rock. Done. Uh, save it to the iPad. Sure. Sure. You do that. Alright. Okay. You want to see some artwork for weird? Anybody? Anybody? Let's do it. All right. Let's uh, open. What well, got like? Oh, y'all don't look at this. Don't look at the top because that's the uh, that's the page. New pages for Apocalypse Pizza. Oh, check this out. I call this one Bad Nessie. This one is already in the book, and a lot of that negative space has been cut out so diamond if you're still listening i believe you probably already saw that one uh let 
me find. Oh, if you're familiar with, we talk about Arnswald sometimes. That's an image I've been doing more digital paint of Arns, Arnswald. Arnswald Wellington. Right, what else? Oh, don't look at that one. You can't see that one. Um, come on. Where are they all at? Where did they go? Let's see. Are we on the cloud drive? Yeah. Oh, here's one. It's already in the book. Um, pretend like you don't see where it says words would go here. That should look familiar to RB, who's played in the first game. Damn, where the hell? Sorry, folks. I seem to be missing some arts. Hmm. Oh, here's one. I shouldn't show you this one, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. One of my favorites. <laughs> oh, yes. A wolf orca, orca. They say orcas are the wolves of the sea. Well, this one is the orca of the woods. Alright, well, I should not... I don't know how much more I should show you. Let you be surprised, so... Uh, we'll close it on that. I do appreciate everyone for showing up for my first ever art stream. I enjoyed it. I love having you here with me, talking to me. Uh, maybe for next for next one, I will try to move the chat screen a little closer where I can see it. Uh, and um, I don't know when I will stream again, but I won't work on that piece again until the next stream. We'll call this part one. And, uh, that's what we'll do. Can't think of anything else. Oh, well, let's talk about it again. RB, you guys can uh, go and see RB uh, on Twitch, also on uh, YouTube. And he also likes to work his wood. And that's the weekend wood shop. You can catch him work wood. And it's not, yeah, so, um, United Adventure Company. We play role-playing games on Twitch. I'm going to start doing, actually, streaming test plays of Weird um, on Tuesdays. I don't know if we're going to do it this Tuesday, but we I am going to meet with the players, and we are going to do character creation. So, um, Anything else? Not that I can think of, but... Um, hmm... I'll come back again sometime before the week's out or next week. And we'll do some more art. So thank you again. Bye-bye.